Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings. What's going on, family? It's Trucker Abdullah. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. That red button over there. And also hit the bell and select all. So you'll be notified of all future videos I have. Also, please hit the like button. I appreciate your support. I'm trying to grow the channel. But I wanted to talk about something today, something that was on my mind. I'm about to get some questions from some guys out here. Um, and um, I want to talk about the things that you need to think about before you quit your job at a mega carrier, you know? The first thing you need to think about is why. Why are you quitting your job at a mega carrier? Is it home time? Is it more money? Is it, you know, you're not getting along with your dispatch? What is it? And with any of those three things, is there anything that you can do at the mega carrier to improve that issue? <clears throat> you know, um, you know, sometimes, you know, these dispatches and stuff like that, you know, sometimes, man, you go from one place to another and it be the same, you find the same thing, you know? Um, but nevertheless, that's something that you probably could change with, you know, maybe your attitude, your demeanor. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about some things that you need to think about before you make that jump. And I guess that could be one of those things. But nevertheless, are you prepared to make it in the land of plenty? Because <clears throat> there's plenty of opportunities out here in this game of trucking. Um, but are you prepared? Do you have your endorsements? Do you have a hazmat, a tanker? Can you pull doubles and triples? You know, these are things that will make you more marketable. Um, moving forward to your next situation. Having endorsements and whatnot, you know, make you more desirable and make you stand out in the field. <clears throat> uh, also, uh, how's your MVR? How's your if ever of a potential uh, potential uh, employee who is your MVR? And what would they see? Are they going to see that you've been, you know, careful, you've been meticulous, you know, about your driving, you've been getting out and look, you ain't talk nobody's stuff. Uh, you know, you haven't been speeding, getting tickets. You know, have you been handling your business? You know? Because we definitely all got responsibilities. Um... <clears throat> also, um, another thing I was thinking about, you know, do you have the patience? Because in my short time, in my short time uh, experience or whatnot, I've noticed that um, a lot of these jobs that pay a little more they have a much more of a uh, meticulous hiring process. Meaning, one second, they got a situation. And they have much more of a meticulous hiring process. It may take a little longer for you to get hired and a lot of the good jobs, 
they not on that little uh that little app that little app what's the name of the app that all the mega carriers and you know, driver post they not on that driver post app you know in my experience those aren't the good jobs those aren't the jobs there are some on there but you know in my experience I think that you know there seems to be more of a uh, more of a uh, more of a process to get you know a better opportunity you know know, another question you want to ask yourself are you a special person you know I know you like man truck I don't know what you're talking about man are you special you know are you are you willing to do something different than drive-in and reefer like a lot of y'all doing at these mega carriers you know like a lot of us you know did at these mega carriers you know drive-in and reefer you know anybody could do that you know are you willing to ltl or, or willing to do pull a tanker even flatbed Hazmat, food service, oil field, you know, so on and so forth. It's a lot of different opportunities out here, but, you know, a lot of those situations seem to pay more and have um, better company opportunities. You know, like a lot of those jobs that you get, you know, those have, those are jobs that will, you know, a lot of guys, they, Tire, they get a cake at the end of the at the end of the bed, you know what I'm saying? And at a party, get a t-shirt and say, hey, I'm walking out with this fat pension. You know what I'm saying? A lot of those jobs do that. You know. Um so that's something that you gotta ask yourself. You know, are you special? Are you prepared to make it in the land of plenty? Um, <clears throat> also, I would say, you know, my advice, I wouldn't go make it a make it. I wouldn't make a, a, a sideways move, go from one mega carrier to another mega carrier. You know, like, I wouldn't do it. The only way I would consider it if, if in my hometown or something where I live at, they had like some type of contract that got me home every night, you know, um, you know that would be something to consider. But from a mega to a mega, I don't know. I ain't feeling. It. You know, that's just me, my two cents. Um, I, I think that, you know, you should always be trying to look to step up, you know, advance your career, you know. There's a lot of opportunity out here. It's the land of plenty, like I said. And um, also, another question that you got to ask yourself, are you afraid to work for an owner-operator or a smaller fleet? Some people are afraid of these things, man. They terrified of them, man. I ain't finna work for no small, you no know, owner operator and my check be bouncing. You absolutely right. You better be scared. You know. Unless, you know, nevertheless, if your uh if this owner operator has contracted freight, that may be something to consider. You know? That may be something to consider. You know, working for an owner operator, got a contract with such and such and such and such, and that's gonna keep you running. You know? Because nine times out of ten, they're gonna pay you far more than uh, a mega carrier would because, you know, they're focused more on the driver. Pleasing the driver, making the driver happy, keeping drivers in seats, you know. So, mom and pop can pay more, 
you know. I wouldn't go to a mom and pop if they was running on the spot market. If you're not familiar with the spot market, like, you know, you need to do some research. If they was running on broker freight and all this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't think I would do that. I, I don't, it's my opinion. I don't think I would. You, know, you got to be, even with some of these megas, talk to some of these drivers that you see that the truck stop all day long, they truck still sitting there, you know, they not, they running 2,000 miles a week and all this kind of stuff, you know, 1,500 miles a week, you know, talk to some of these people, ask them how do they, how is their experience at said company, you know, I remember, man, I was talking to some cats, man, and, you know, a lot of cats gonna keep it. If they having a, 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 a horrible experience, man, they gonna tell you, man, listen, man, don't come here. You know, you, they gonna start cussing and, you know, oh, man, man, you know. I ran into some of them cats, you know. So talk to some of these drivers, you know, ask them some things they like, you know. Don't just ask them about money. You know, ask them about other things that matter, you know. <clears throat> um, again, like, you know, my whole thing is, is that, um, don't, um, uh, and, and also, you know, just do your due diligence before you just, oh, I'm gone, before you just jump out the plane, you know, do your due diligence, you know. Make sure, take your time, you know, with making your next move in your career. Don't just job hop. Don't job hop. You know, you want to find something that's, you know, you want to have a plan, number one. You know, what you want to do? You know, you want to get a truck. You want to get your own truck. You know, maybe you should go work for an owner operator and learn something uh, that's going to teach you some, uh, some things about running your own truck, you know. Maybe that's something that's uh, that you may want to think about. Um, you know. So again, you know, this uh, this is my some random thoughts I had. Do your due diligence, you know, be safe out there. Take your time, you know, get out and look, you know, slow down, you know, protect that CDL, you know. Um, my name is Trucker Abdullah. Please hit the uh, subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, hit the bell for all notifications. And, uh, also hit the thumbs up button uh, share it out yeah tire pass yeah, share it out to your facebook groups assalamu alaikum peace and blessing